Hi, I'm Lloyd from Bumstead Bicycles and we're a Trek dealer here in Ontario, California. And I wanted to take a few minutes to show you one of Trek's electric e-mountain bikes. It is the Rail 7. This is a full suspension electric mountain bike. One of my things I always, when selling full suspension mountain bikes, e or otherwise, is I always try to impress upon people Trek's rear suspension. They have spent millions of dollars coming up with this. It's been around for a few years, quite a few years now, tried and true, and it works. If you're looking for a suspension mountain bike, pay close attention to how well the suspension works. Um, Trek on theirs, this, it's adjustable. They have what's called a monolink, so you can adjust the amount of travel you have, how high the bottom bracket is. Their rear pivot is at the axle, uh, makes for a very plush moving suspension, and it also affects rear braking. A lot of suspension designs, if your pivot point is here or here, versus at the axle, when you apply the rear brakes, it can stiffen or even lock out your rear suspension. So again, Trek suspension does this very well, very well thought out, works exceptionally well. Always look at that first. Now, back to the rest of the bike. It is a longer travel, full suspension, um, one, 160 in the front, 150 in the rear so you can really pound the the hills hit the drop-offs you got tons of travel here trek also made sure that these the suspend the forks are from rock shock and they are rated for e-bikes they didn't cut corners there um braking we were just kind of talking about that they are using high quality four piston caliper brakes on this model, they're from SRAM. Um, reason for the four piston, you got more braking power, larger rotors, larger pads inside of here. Again, you're gonna be wanting to go fast on this bike. You're gonna need tons of stopping power. So great brakes, suspension. Now to the E part of it. We are using on this bike, Bosch's CX high performance motor is a 250 watt motor. Besides the Bosch motor, this you also have a controller that controls the output of that motor. This is from a, this is called the Purion controller. The advantage to it is that it applies the power based on your pedaling and it works really well on a mountain bike you need to make sure that power is very progressive and smooth so that how much force you're putting on the pedals, there's going to be instances where you don't want that bike to lunge forward. Lots of power, not always good. You need it to be very precise and progressive. So Trek, again, put a high quality controller so that the bike performs very well under all that great Bosch power. Um, next, battery. Um, Trek has done a lot of research, done a lot of analysis. The, one of the things I like is how smooth and clean the battery looks in the bike. Removable also, very easy. Turn the key, pull a lever, out comes the battery. Um, that way you can take it in the house if you want to charge it. You, um, transporting the bike, you can remove the battery, makes the bike a lot lighter that way. They've also spent a lot of time in engineering this so that the battery doesn't shake, rattle, or move while you're pounding the trails. And again, very simple to, well, I'm supposed to make it look simple, and lock it back in place. Battery locked into place so nobody can steal your battery. But again, centrally mounted, smooth, doesn't bounce around. Um, charging port. You do not have to remove the battery to charge the bike. Again, kind of hidden, but awesome place. You pull that little cap and a place to charge the battery right on the bike. Um, 
Again, very well thought out. Drivetrain. They use a combination of an SLX shifter and an XT rear derailleur. One by 12 system. Shimano, what can I say? Tried and true. These guys know how to make drivetrains. Um, they were a little lacking for years. SRAM was beating them up with their tw you know, 12 systems where Shimano was more 10 and 11. But their new 12 system and XT, hard to beat. Reliable, easy to adjust. Gotta love it. Um, crank on this. They're using the E13, which is a, an awesome crank, and it's made specifically for e-bikes. So again, at every instance, they try to make sure the component package is mated and matched to what the use is gonna be. A lot of e-bikes don't have room for a water bottle. If you like to run a water bottle, it even has water bottle mounts on it. Um, tires. Um, Trex house brand Bontrager um, team issue, which means it's tubeless, comes from the factory, already set up tubeless, you don't have to pay extra, comes with it, great all around tire. So there it is, the Trek Rail 7, ready to get out there. And again, with this much power, no need for shuttles, no need for lifts. Right there, easy to get at your fingertips. Screen, easy to read. Different levels of assist, depending on how steep the hill. Also, right there at your fingertip, dropper post. Can't forget having a dropper post. Again, up and down at the pop of the finger. Kind of along the lines, if we got a minute here, one of the things I would we'd put, so for wiring for the for your controls, for your dash there. At this point, we put just a little zip tie on here to hold these together. I would I would say go to like a, a automotive store or something and maybe get some of the wire harness wrap and wrap these two together just for protection. And it just look really clean too. And again, a few zip ties here and there. You know, you're thrashing through some trees and brush and stuff. You wanna make sure your cables are all protected. Something to think about there. Again, here it is, Trek Rail 7. Thanks for listening. If you happen to live in the area and you enjoyed these videos, please come in and say hi. If you're not local to the area and you're interested in buying some of the items we talk about, in the description below, we should have links to the items. Thanks.